Back in the glory days of when I owned iCry, I used to merge so freaking much that it was insane. I got so fucking lucky so many times that I made millions of gold on the fucking Lord of the Magic. And it was a fucking awesome time, you know, just merging, getting money out of nowhere. But I lost my motivation somewhere and, you know, everything I've done, everybody makes mistakes. And I, for one, have made a fucking lot. But I'm coming back and I'm gonna try to get my shit together. And this is all because of Gomper right here who made a series called Road to 100 Mil. And this guy started with 1 million cash and he's pretty much going to merge his way into 100 mil, which sounds like a badass thing to do. Like, who doesn't want to do that? Although I doubt that he'll be able to do it within a year. I don't know. Maybe he'll just gonna get hella fucking lucky or he might even quit the series. Who knows? But either way, his idea inspired me to merge again, just like I used to in the old days. Merging takes a lot of patience and quite a bit of luck and just like the right timing. If you just continue to sell an item at the same price and wait for the right time for items to be in BT, like just enough of that item, like one of that item, you can pretty much make a lot of money. A while back, my friend Little Narco, the I think original owner, sold this Kaiser sword right here, six RH and eight strength. He got it from the boss Big Mouse and he sold it for 14 million, which at the time surprised the shit out of me. I thought that was fucking insane, but from the looks of it, the stats are pretty fucking good, but it's only eight strength. I don't know how that goes for warrior swords, but at the time it was a pretty badass fucking sword. And look at that, that that's one of the ways you can get hella lucky. And for me at the time, I got this Dark Steel Shield and it's 40 magic resistance and 40 HP and I only sold it for 450k. I'm pretty sure I could have gotten a way better price, but at the time I didn't give a shit. I wasn't being very patient because I couldn't sell the shield. So if I waited out longer, I could have made a bigger profit, but I just wanted to get rid of it. I'm pretty sure King enchanted it or maybe even fucking sold it, remerged it and sold it at a bigger price. But that's, you know, that just takes a lot of fucking time that you'd be willing to give it. One of my biggest merges ever, or actually the biggest merge I've ever done was Impact Shot 2. I bought one because of the guy named X Wind Run. X oh fuck, I messed up his name, but fuck it. This guy right here gave me the info that it was on BT for 2 mil. So I bought it and I sold it for 8 mil on BT, which was just fucking insane for me because this guy pretty much allowed me to make 6 mil just by fucking buying a book, just by trying. Like with merging, it doesn't take too much of your time. Just log in the game, do a few flips, run through BT, maybe 20 minutes, half an hour and log off and continue on with your life. It is not very time consuming and you can pretty much build yourself up the gold you need to do everything you need to in the game. Another one of my merch that I was pretty proud of at the time was a Mystic Wand. That Mystic Wand you see on the screen right now is for intelligence and I managed to sell it for 3 mil. I bought it for 2 mil exact and I sold it for a whole mil more when the BT did not have any other mystics plus eight. So I put mine this big ass price and I just got lucky. So as you can see, merging does take a lot of luck, but people will eventually buy something if you're the only one who has, if you have the only one of that item or you're controlling the prices for all that item, people will eventually buy it. So really you just have to be persistent. Uh, another merch I did at the time was this sage robe. I bought it for 500K and I sold it for 850 when again, there was none of it in BT. So basically, you can control the price and as long as you make it slightly reasonable people will buy it and you can just keep flipping items from time to time and building up cash tag uh, another item i used to merch a lot was promise rings i would buy them for 50k and i think this is the two intelligence one so i'd buy them for 50k and sell them for 100 and that's like a small profit but you know small profits go a long way if you can't find anything to sell you can start off started items like promise rings is something i'd recommend and one of my most recent merches was a fucking plus five silk bone armor for 65k and i only sold it for 85 but hey profit is profit just selling this the seeing this was my first merch uh a couple of days ago and just this little thing happening motivated me to just continue and see how far I could go. And like on the same day, I also bought this plus five robot waterfall for only 475K and I managed to sell it for 650. So that's a hundred and, hold on, that's 125K actually, 125K profit. So that wasn't bad, that wasn't bad. And it, it is, it goes without saying that the more gold you have, the more you can merge but not everything is gonna be a guaranteed merge so sometimes you might have to sell the item for a very similar price like maybe only 25k higher but if you want to hold on to the item and just keep merging hey 
there's non-end possibilities as long as you keep that item it holds its value if you can control the market but then again some items are way harder to sell like this robot silence i bought it for 1.3 mil i tried selling it for 1.8 it is not selling currently so someone else is selling the same item same stats and everything for a lower price than me so i'm competing with other people now so what i have to do is either wait out for theirs to buy for cheaper or set my price lower but as long as i make it a profit it's fine as i was scrolling through bt i saw this item this heavy iron helmet which is plus five for strength for only 550 and if you look up two items above it dirty hero is selling at plus five for strength also for almost 800k so you can see that people who want to desperately get rid of their items will undersell it for way less than they originally bought it or just the prices in BT just are crashing at the time buy it for cheap just wait a little while or just try to sell it right away but then again you got to keep in mind that you got to compete with other people and if you're not doing anything with your gold if you're not like spending it randomly it's a good thing to just invest it and next I'm going to show you some items I bought for a very cheap price and since they're the only one in BT I can pretty much control the price first off I started with a thief mask I bought it for 130k and I'm selling it for 250 because I can control the price I can pretty much set up whatever fucking price I want to but then again you have to remember that it has to be a reasonable price that people will actually pay for it and not every item is going to work like this that's a blitzkrieg that I bought for 100k I'm pretty sure it's gonna be very hard to fucking sell this thing but I'm gonna keep on trying because look at it, it was only 100k if I can sell it for 200k that'd be nice that's still doubling my money so I don't mind waiting and being patient to sell an item and considering that I don't even play that often, that I only play on the weekends, it doesn't hurt to just log in at least like once a day, put your item in BT, log out and fuck off, do whatever you need to do, and then come back the next day and repeat the cycle. You keep doing this, you're eventually gonna build up enough cash in the game again that you can literally buy your skills, buy your equipment, and then you might even spend even more fucking time on the game, but that's all up to you. Another strategy that you can do is buy out all of the items for the same price or relatively same price. There was two wolf masks on BT, one for 85k, one for 90 and I bought them both and I put them both on BT for 250 or I'm going to at least because I'm in control in the market right now. So basically I get to set the price and I'm gonna make a decent amount of money if these sell. Another item that I used to mess with a lot back in the day was skill books. I would buy skill books all the time and I would sell them for different prices, mainly for like the special traders prices. But I bought two Berserk 2 books, which are the only one in BT right now. I don't know how often they drop, but look at that. That is ridiculously low. I can bump up the price to that right the fuck now. You can see there's a guy selling one for 100K and the only other two in BT are like four fucking K. So I bought them both and I'm trying to sell them for 50 at least. That is more than like, five times my profit i don't know how many times of the profit that is but you can see clearly that there's gonna be a profit even just making money by not playing is pretty smart then you do want to think about the bigger items the big boys <laughs> you can <see. laughs> all right as i was saying then you have to get into the big boys and it's item like impact shot 2 you can buy it for if you're lucky enough to buy it for 7 mil you could potentially sell it for eight, which is a whole mil profit. Now, you'd, again, you'd have to have like a whole seven mil, so you'd already have to have a base of cash to invest into merching, because it's a lot hard to merch with nothing. And lastly, here's something funny I used to do in BT. I used to buy skill books that were like insanely cheap, like level 35s and level 40 books that people might sell. For example, like Shot of Calmness 1 for 12K, I would buy it off BT and I would sell it back to the NPCs, The NPCs that sell items for the max amount of gold and I would get a 3k profit now There's three of those items. So that's 9k I basically created into the game because people do not know the prices of items at uh, The special traders and I also continued this with all types of skill books But I would only buy them when they would give me profit and a lot of the skill books I did not know the prices to so sometimes I took a risk just to find out the price of the item but the only skill books that really make you like any type of money like a 3k or or more profit are like level 40 books like heavy strike one which i've bought many for 25 or 20k under and would sell them back to the trader for 28k which is maybe a 3k profit again which is not much but if you continue to do this it will add up and if you're like at a low level you only have 50k on you buy one of these off bt sell it to the npc and bam 
there you go now you have 3k more than you did the day before you continue this over time you're definitely gonna build cash and that is all for you guys today if you could drop a like i would fucking <coughs> definitely i can't really close with you you know what i'm saying but for real if you enjoyed this video drop a like and if you have any recommendations for me like any type of specific video you want to see let me know and i will see what i can do see ya